what some students are discovering is that the jobs that they trained for, that they went to school for, is actually disappearing, or if not disappearing altogether, the skill set that is now being called upon are skill sets that they were not prepared for when they went to school. What some young people are discovering too is that the jobs that they were so focused on in attaining from young growing up are jobs that they will have seen either their fathers or grandfathers enter into their moms, aunts or aunties went into specific kind of jobs. So those students will have gone to school with the mindset that these are jobs that males do, these are jobs that females do. So that kind of gender specific jobs. So some students who actually uh, graduated and entered into the world of work and end up in some of those jobs are discovering that it's really not fulfilling and they will have preferred to do a job that possibly will have been in their minds done by someone of another gender. So the question therefore is, are students being given the information that there are a number of jobs out there and jobs that are also out there are also morphing or changing or there are new skill sets that are required in order to do some of those very same jobs that 10, 15, 20 years ago those skill sets were not necessary. Is it that this information is being transmitted to the student? Well, the encouragement is that if you work in the field of education, you might be a teacher, maybe a guidance counselor, or someone who is into career guidance to help students to realize that there are so many different jobs out there, not just the conventional lawyer, doctor, um, and that's it, but there are a number of other jobs out there that they will have access to and they can have access to, including creating their own employment. Now, the thing is, even though the doctors and the lawyers are out there and we need them, some students are really unfamiliar exactly what a doctor does. So they may say, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a lawyer, but what kind of lawyer do you want to be? What kind of doc? What kind of patients do you want to treat? Do you want to treat children, adults, teenagers? Do you want to um, work in a specific area? Maybe it's cardiology or urology. So if you are a student and you are about to graduate or you have already graduated, these are some areas in which I would suggest you can explore. So take for example the first one, to Google careers. So you go on the internet and check out different types of careers. So it's possible that you want to get into medicine. Uh, what you can do, you can type in um, types of medical careers and you might see hundreds of different kinds of medical careers you can get into. So if it's nursing, there are different types of nurses. If it is in dentistry, there are different specialties in dentistry. If it is in psychology, there are different kinds of specialties and niches in psychology. So there's a wide range of information that you can get in one specific career. So yes, there is a specialty, but there might be niches or smaller focused area in those specialties that you might be interested in and can get, in, in, and can get into. Another thing you can do is look at sports. So you type in different kinds of sports, that um, sports careers, and you might even see uh, specific types of sports, specific types of careers, management, sports management. Um, you might even see sports psychology. You might even see areas where you can go into sports medicine, um, into coaching. So there's so much information available when you Google it. Another thing you can also do is to Google the salaries. Now it's true that based on the specific country that you live in, you may have to do some math with regards to the conversion of the currency that you Google salaries and you see what are some of the salaries that might be paid to a person who is in a particular area of, of study or particular field career-wise 
and you can one determine it that's where you want to go based on how much is being paid or uh, you can also determine uh, if it is an area that you do not want to go into uh, i know that some persons they may say you know what high paying jobs that's not what is going to bring me fulfillment what is going to bring me fulfillment is i get up every morning i get dressed and i go and i, I actually help people or if you're not working directly with people i sit behind the computer i do coding i do analysis and that is what brings them joy a matter of fact some of those very same persons will say uh, while it's true they're happy that they're getting paid it pays the bills it keeps them um, healthy they're able to buy food and so forth it's just the passion that the job brings so people will go into specific careers for different things but what i will say is that whatever career you choose uh, make certain that you can see yourself in it for a little while for a few years it is true that you may change careers and that's fine people change careers all the time you can be a mechanic for 10 years and then decide you want to go to medical school and they start studying for medical school probably it's not the path that most persons who end up into medical school will take but there are people who in their 40s or 50s have gone to medical school you may be in banking or finance that's what you wanted to get into eventually five years ten years down the road 15 years down the road if you want to switch and get into school counseling or guidance counseling you can do that that's fine you just have to know that whatever area you choose to get into one it's possible that you can change your mind and that's okay and two if you do change your mind you whatever you get into you work at it and try to find fulfillment in it what i will suggest to a number of persons who are graduating number of students you're graduating you're leaving school uh, try to see even before so if you're listening to this and you have not graduated as yet maybe you have some time still you have a few years to go you probably have two or three years or so maybe you are graduating soon or have already graduated uh, but is not as yet in the wool of work try to see how best you can understand uh, digital the digital world i know that a number of us yes we use our tablets we use our computers we use apps we surf the internet but try to see if you can use your technology for example in this way how some software work microsoft a powerpoint a word document you want to be able to understand how to use uh, the gmail apps the drives you want to know how to how to send emails these are some of the things you want to be able to learn because it is so important that as we move forward in this world of technology of course these things will continue to change they will continue to be upgraded but having an understanding of how these communication software how these software that is used for uh, powerpoint presentations how these software that is used to type notes or to type uh, words or letters uh, knowing how they work will be very important because in the world of work as a dentist or a doctor or an attorney uh, even as a person who uh, may claim well you know i don't need to work with these different kinds of software because i'm going to be a mechanic working with excel or working with sheets documents to be able to take notes as to where your expenses are going where how many how how well, what kind of profits you're getting to be able to chart that will be so important in growing and developing your business so understanding how these software work or getting some help from someone who understand how they work will be so important as a student who is about to graduate or maybe you have already graduated you're looking for work take this opportunity to play around with it a little bit understand how these apps and these software work so that when you enter into the world of work you will go in there with some additional skills graphic designs there are a lot of free software out there that you can use to practice graphic designing and that is a wonderful skill that you want to have going forward you want to be able to do some editing be it you do um, editing for vocal editing or you do picture editing or video editing those are some skills that no doubt you will want to at least 
have some kind of uh, control or command on because going forward we are living in a digital world this is it we're not going back this is where we're moving right now